receive the power to fly like an eagle as you join us on this special program every Friday by 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube channel at MFM House of Prayers and Praise Baltimore. Meet Pastor Stephen Jones and other anointed ministers of God as they minister divine acceleration to your destiny. Fly like an eagle. It is your time to arise and shine. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of our praise. You are the most high God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are awesome. You are wonderful. You are Jehovah Sikidenu. You are Jehovah Mekadisha. We worship you this hour. We glorify your name because you have done it again. You've done it yesterday. You have done it again. You are still going to continue to do it. We worship you. Let's begin to worship him. Let's begin to exalt his name. He's a wonderful father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Join me as we worship him. Is it you are worthy of a praise. Oh, you are worthy of a praise. Yahweh, you are worthy of a praise. Oh, you are worthy of a praise. Jesus, you are worthy of a praise. Oh, you are worthy of a praise. Thank you, Jesus. We have some prayers. We have prayers to pray tonight. We have prayer to pray this hour. And I believe the hand of God has released this moment. It's going to rest upon everyone listening. Everybody, everyone praying this prayer, even this hour. And there shall be instant testimony, creative miracle, joy overflowing, victory at last. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Quickly, I want us to go into prayers. I want us to pray really hard, even this moment. And I want you to decree by the mandate of heaven. Decree this moment. Say, powers assigned to frustrate my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to frustrate my destiny. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to frustrate my destiny. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus, who has said powers assigned to frustrate my destiny. Da, da, da. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You are going to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Any authority monitoring my destiny, any evil authority monitoring my destiny, your time is up. Die now in the name of Jesus. Any evil authority monitoring my destiny. Your time is up now. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Any evil authority monitoring my destiny. Your time is up. I command you to die. We are declared. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I want somebody to pray this one. Pray, you are listening to me right now. Pray very well this hour. And something wholesome is going to happen to you. As you sleep, have a nap, revelation of secrets shall be revealed to you. You are going to declare powers that want to determine my destiny. Powers that want to determine my destiny. Die now in the name of Jesus. Power that want to determine my destiny. Die, die, die in the name of Jesus. Oracle Posi Kata, Zita Pakata. Oh, yes, let them die. Die. Powers assigned to determine my destiny. Die, 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 die,
the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let them pray. Pray, 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 pray. Raka Let them die. Powers assigned to determine my destiny. Die. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You are going to pray. We are praying. Listen to me. Tonight, as the Lord live it, as I have been told, God is going to do something awesome. And he's going to set some people free totally. Final deliverance in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. Every evil king that will not allow me to fulfill my destiny. Every evil king that will not allow me to fulfill my destiny. Your time is up. Die. In the name of Jesus, every evil king that will not allow me to fulfill my destiny, die, 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 die now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to die. 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 Oh yes, die. Every evil king that will not allow me to fulfill destiny, die. In the name of Jesus, die. In the name of Jesus, oh yes, die. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray, I didn't pray this too. And I want you to pray with power. That's going to lead us into the message and then the subsequent prayer that we're going to pray. You are going to pray. Any evil king that hold what belongs to me, release it now and die. Any evil king that holds what belongs to me, release it now and die. In the name of just any evil king that holds what belongs to me, release it, die, 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 release it, 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 and die. In the name of just evil king that holds what belongs to me, release it and die. In that name of just oh yeah, let it pray, 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 pray. Any evil king that whole what belongs to me, yes, that king that is controlling your destiny, oh yeah. Let's oh yeah, let that king release that thing they, they are holding. Oh yes, release it, release it, release it, release it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Pray this last one before we go into the message. We are going to declare, thank you, Jesus. Oh, say any evil king from my father's house, any evil king from my mother's house, any evil king from my in-law's house. <laughs> That controls my destiny. <laughs> Fail and die. In the name of Jesus. Any evil king from my father's house. Any evil king from my mother's house. For any evil king from my in-law's house. That controls my destiny. Release me. Fail. Die. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, pray, 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 pray. Any evil king that controls my destiny from my father's house, from my mother's house, from my in-law's house. Oh yes, release me and die. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, release me, die. 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 Release me and die. Recapacata. Release me now and die. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, we give you praise because you are a faithful God. We exalt your name because you are the almighty God. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for this program. Thank you, Lord, for what you have started doing. Thank you, Lord, for what you're still going to do. Even your hand of power that has been released this hour. Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence that is available. I give you praise. I exalt your name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, this hour. Holy Spirit, take over. King of glory, take over. Yahweh, take over. In the name of Jesus, at the end of the day, let your name be glorified. Jesus, mighty name of prayer. Amen. Shout hallelujah. We are looking at the message briefly. Title, deliver me from terrible king. Deliver me from terrible king. But we are going to use a king as a case study. For our prayers today. Deliver me from terrible king. And we are using King Saul as a case study for these prayers. Many people have been under the control of King Saul. Many people have been under the control of terrible king. People like King Saul have controlled destiny and destroyed destiny. But let's see what happened. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 18. 1 Samuel 
chapter 18. The Bible says, And it came to pass as they came, when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, that the woman, the woman, listen, the woman came out of all cities of Israel, singing and dancing. They were singing and they were dancing to meet King Saul with tablets. They are celebrating coming to meet with King Saul with tablets, with joy and with instrument of music. They were doing that because they just won a battle. Amen. But listen where the problem lies. And the women answered one another. And they played and said, Saul had slain his thousands. And David is ten thousands. And David, that small boy, has slain ten thousand. So they placed David above Saul. And listen to what Saul said in verse 8. And Saul was very wrong. He was very angry. And the same displeasing. He wasn't happy. And he said, They have ascribed unto David 10,000. And to me, they have ascribed but thousands. And what can I have? Or what can he, what can he have more but the kingdom? That means already they've given the kingdom to David. And that is where the problem started from. That is where the problem started from. Terrible king. Terrible king. Who is this Saul? Saul was a chosen. And he was chosen. An anointed king over Israel. Who was Saul? Saul, even a professor. In the midst of the prophet. That means he is a prophet himself. He happened to be a prophet himself. Who was Saul? Saul was of the tribe of Benjamin. He was of the tribe of Benjamin. Who was Saul? He was so powerful and respected. So powerful, heavy, huge, strong. Who was Saul? He has an envious spirit. Envious spirit. These are the battles. These are the terrible king that we are fighting. These are the terrible king that will not allow us to go. And until you fight them, you cannot be free. Who was Saul? He was possessed with evil spirit. He was possessed. He was with God and later possessed with evil spirit. He sought after mediums. Who was Saul? He wanted to kill David. The terrible king that wanted to that wants to kill you, that wants to kill me. And we need to fight. On the other hand, we look at that story very well. And we're looking at that small boy. David. Who was David? David was just a small boy. He was just a small boy. He was a musician. He played instruments. He sings very well. He was a shepherd. He was doing this for his father. He was a shepherd boy. Who was David on the other hand? He killed a lion and a bear. A lion. Why? He was shepherding the flock. Who was David? He was anointed king. He was anointed king. Almost three times he was anointed king. And one thing, one powerful thing for David, God was with him. God was with him. Listen to me carefully this moment, wherever you are, as you are listening to me. When people begin to sing your praises, when good things are happening to you, when you are destined for greatness, until you, you are delivered from that terrible king in your life. Until you are delivered from that terrible king around you. Until you are delivered from that terrible king over you. Hmm. Destiny may be cut short and aborted. Destiny may be cut short and aborted. It may be cut short and aborted. Listen to me. We are using King Saul as a case study. To pray tonight. 
to pray this hour wherever you find yourself. Whether you are in the morning, in the, in the noon, or in the night, or midnight. I want us to understand something. That as everybody, every one of us, has a terrible king that we need to fight. Who is the terrible king in form of King Saul? Number one, is the power, is the king that doesn't want you to prosper in life. He doesn't want you to prosper in life. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 11, the Bible says, And Saul cast the javelin. He cast the javelin at close range with David. He cast the javelin. For he said, I will smite David even to the war with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. Terrible king. Cast the javelin to kill somebody. Terrible, a small boy, a young boy. He doesn't care about his age. He doesn't care about his gifting. But he just wants to destroy the destiny of that little boy. Who is this terrible king? Who is this terrible king? Number two. The terrible king is any power that turn themselves to your enemy forever. They turn yourself, themselves to your enemy forever. They are vowed to destroy you. No matter what you do, they are vowed to destroy you. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 29, the Bible says, And Saul was yet the more afraid of David. And Saul became David's enemy continually. He has tried to kill this guy, but he couldn't kill him. So he was afraid of him. He was afraid of him. So he turned himself to the enemy of David forever. He turned himself to the enemy of David forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. So King Saul, he attempted to kill David 21 times. When you look at the scripture, he attempted to kill. If somebody wants to kill you 21 times, trying to kill you, he must be a dangerous king. He must be a dangerous person. Who is this terrible king? Number three. This terrible king is the power that has vowed with God's name not to harm you. They vow with God's name not to harm you, but has evil intentions against you. They vow with God's name not to harm you, but they have evil intention against you. In 4 Samuel chapter 19, we read from verse 6, And Saul hearkened unto the voice of Jonathan, and Saul swore, as the Lord liveth, he shall not be slain. There was problem between Saul and David. David ran away from the palace. And David happens to be the friend of the son of Saul. And Saul pleaded on behalf of David. He went to his father and told his father, leave this boy alone. Let this boy be. And the father said, okay. Tell him to come back to the palace. And the father says something. Listen to me. He says something. <laughs> he said, and Saul asking to the son, Jonathan. And Saul swear, and as the Lord liveth, he shall not be slain. He has sworn, he sworn, he sworn with the, he, I have to swear with the name of God. And verse 9. And when David agreed with Jonathan, the Bible says in verse 9. And the evil spirit from the Lord came upon Saul again as he sat in his house with the javelin in his hand. And David played with his hand. Listen to me. Amen. Saul had to send somebody to go and kill David, even in the night, after swearing, after promising with God's name that he will not kill David. Listen, you don't beg your enemy. You fight your enemy. The Bible says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus says the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible is not is by force. Who is this terrible king? 
Those that have hired and recruited people to kill you. They've hired and recruited people to kill you. First Samuel chapter 19, verse 1. And so spake to Jonathan his son, to all his servants, that they should kill David. They should kill David. Listen to me. Tonight, wherever you find yourself this morning, this afternoon, sometimes the battle you are fighting is a combination of forces. The battle you are fighting is a combination of forces. Combination of forces. In 1 Samuel chapter 19, look at it very well. 1 Samuel chapter 18, from 9 to 10. He said, Now therefore, hearken unto their voice, I be it. Yet protest solemnly with them, and show them the manner of king that shall reign over them. <laughs> and Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king. Listen to me. God has something for every one of us. And the Bible says the part of the judge is like a shining light, shining more and more unto the perfect day. Amen. There's a battle for everyone to fight. There's a king in everyone's life. And there's a wicked king somewhere. And until you dethrone that your king, you may not be allowed to operate as a king in your own area. Praise the Lord. Who is this terrible king as we go into prayers? Is the power assigned to monitor your destiny for evil? Is the power assigned to monitor your destiny for evil? In 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 11 and 14, Saul also sent messenger unto David's home to wash him and to slay him in the morning. And Micah, David's wife, told him, saying, he that saved not thy life tonight, tomorrow, thou shalt what? Be slain. Thou shalt be slain. Thou shalt be slain. And when Saul sent messenger to David, to take David, the wife said he was sick. He was what? Sick. Praise the Lord. The wife said he was sick. Praise the Lord. He wanted to kill. He monitored the destiny. This is a power that monitors your destiny. Anywhere you go, you travel from one country or the other, they still monitor you. And we need to deal with them tonight. And pray for somebody, listen to me. Any power monitoring your destiny for evil, they shall go blind. 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 In the name of Jesus. Kapokata. Reza Kapokata. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is this terrible king? Is the power that pays your good for with evil? Is the power that pays your good with evil? In First Samuel chapter nineteen, we read verse eight and eighteen. First Samuel chapter nineteen, you read verse eight, and we read eighteen. And there was a war. There was war against David. There was war again, and David went out. And fought with the Philistines and slew them with a great slaughter, and they fled from him. So David fled in 18. He said, So David fled. This is the person that went to war with Philistines, fought them, slaughtered them. But in verse 18, and so David fled and escaped and came to Samuel to Ramah and told him all that Saul had done to him. And he and Samuel. Went and dwell in the house. Praise the Lord. David did a lot. Fought was the one that destroyed the Philistine. That the Israelite had been under for some time. But look at the same king who want to kill David. Some people are there. No matter what you have done, any good you may have good you may have done, they still we pay you with evil. That is why you need to pray. Pray tonight. And I believe God is going to do something awesome tonight. Who is this terrible king? Is the power, the king that want to kill you and your helpers. They want to kill you and your helpers. First Samuel chapter 22. From 21 to 23. 
And had the other showed David that Saul has slain the Lord's priest. And David said unto Abiata, I knew it that day when Doag, the other man was there, that he would surely tell Saul, I have occasioned the death of all the persons of the father's house. Abide thou with me. <laughs> Fear not, for he that seeketh my life, seeketh thy life. But with me thou shalt be in safe God. David ran to the priest and Saul sent people to kill everybody. There's a power that want to kill your helpers. Powers pursuing to kill your helpers. Some people, those that are helping you, immediately they start helping you, they have problems. The king, the terrible king is after them. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, this midnight, the terrible king shall be killed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is this terrible king? The power that doesn't want you to fulfill the promises of God for your life. The power that doesn't want you to fulfill the promises of God for your life. The power that doesn't want you to fulfill the promises of God for your life. In 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 13. And Saul's anger was kindled against Jonathan, against his son. And he said unto him, Thou son of the perverse, rebellious woman, do not I know that thou hast chosen the son of Jesse to thine own confession and unto the confession of thy mother's nakedness? They have seen where God is taking you to, and they want to stop you. Many people have seen your star. Many people have seen your potential. Many people have seen your gifting. But they want to cut you short. They want to cut you short. And you need to fight. Because you must fulfill your destiny. The Bible said the path of the just is, a light. is like a shining light. Shining more, more, more unto the perfect day. Thank you, Jesus. So you need to pray. There is powers, kings, authorities that doesn't want you to fulfill the promises of God for your life. You need to fight. You need to pray tonight. Amen. Who is this terrible king? Is the enemy that wants you to be in the hiding. They want you to be in the hiding in the day of your celebration. They want you to be in the hiding in the day of your celebration. In 1 Samuel chapter 20, 24 to 27. They want you to be in the hiding in hiding in the day of your celebration. Listen to me. In that scripture, the Bible says, So David hid himself in the field. And when the new moon was come, the king sat him down to eat meat. The king sat him down to eat meat. And the king sat upon his seat. And as other times, even upon his seat by the wall, and Jonathan arose. And Abla sat by Saul's side. And David's place was what? Empty. David's place was empty. Nevertheless, David spake not anything. Saul spake anything, not anything that day. For he thought something had befallen him. He's not clean. Surely he's not clean. And it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month, that David's place was empty. And Saul said unto Jonathan, his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesus to meet, neither yesterday nor today. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. The enemy that wants you to be, in, to be hiding on the day of your celebration. And pray for somebody, hear me very well, even this hour. Any power that doesn't want you to celebrate your celebration. Any power that wants you to be in hiding on the day of celebration. Any power that wants to kill you before the day of your celebration. Any power that says the day of your job, you will run away. They shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus, they shall die. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the ocean of God. I decree by the prophetic mandate. Rika Zakapo Sata. You listening to me today. 
power is pursuing you everywhere from pole to pole pillar to pillar that says you will not fulfill destiny i speak today i declare today they shall disappear suddenly they shall disappear 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 in the name of jesus thank you jesus who is this terrible king and this is the last one i want to give before we go into prayers who is this terrible king is the enemy that pursue you to make a mistake they pursue you to make mistakes in first samuel chapter 21 verse 10 they pursue you until you make mistake and David arose and fled that day for fear of Saul and went to Ashish, the king of gods. Praise the Lord. I want you, I, I, I want you, that name to sound very name, that name so familiar with so many people. And that name, that place, gods. Do you remember that David was the one that killed Goliath? And Goliath of where? Of God. And but when problem came, David ran. David ran to, to God. Praise the Lord. He ran to for solace. He ran for covering. He ran for protection into the camp of these enemies. Praise the Lord. The enemy that pursue you to making mistakes, they are dangerous. They are everywhere. You see a situation whereby people push you into coming to beg them. And from the scripture, from what you have seen, you don't need to beg your enemy. When you beg them, you give them more power. The Bible says, it says, fight the good fight of faith. Fighting the good fight of faith. A lot of things. A lot of things involved. Praise the Lord. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you find yourself listening to me, we need to pray. We need to pray. We have a lot of prayers to pray. And we need to pray. I believe God even tonight. I believe God this hour because of the mandate that have been released that there shall be deliverance. God shall deliver you from this terrible king. And what do you do to this king? You have to fight back. You have to fight back. What do you do to this king? You have to submit yourself to Christ Jesus. You must be ready for him. Because he's the one that can fight your battle for you. No man can fight for you. David ran from everywhere. But God fought for him. And you are listening to me this hour. Before we go into prayers. And you believe God. You believe God. Lord, you have to submit yourself to Christ Jesus. Who is the epa? Of our destiny is the one that can break the rules of life is one that set the captive free so if you are listening to me right now i want you and you want to give your life to christ or you want to rededicate your life to christ for this prayer we have lots of prayers to pray to pray and we need to pray it very well even this hour i want you to close your eyes wherever you find yourself lay your hands on your head lay your hands on your chest kneel down Lie down any position that is good for you, but be ready to submit to him so that God himself can fight your battle for you. He need to recognize you for him to fight for you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I know I've sinned against you. I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. Take not the Holy Spirit away from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. I come before you this hour. Change my life. Change my story. Fight my battle for me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not the Holy Spirit for, away from me. From today, I say bye-bye to sin. I say bye-bye to the devil. In Jesus' name. As so you have prayed that prayer, I know you are ready for the battle. I know you are ready to fight now. Father, I pray for this once. Have they prayed? Have they confessed you as their personal Lord and Savior? Have they dedicated their life to you, Lord? Lay your hands of power upon them. Accept them into 
your kingdom. Lay your mandate of power to fight and win upon their life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. People of God, we have listened to the message. Deliver me from terrible king. And we need to pray very well. Please, the period we have, we need to pray. There's battle everywhere. And we need to fight. Don't take no for an answer. Don't beg your enemy. Fight them. And God shall give you victory. And I want you to pray the first prayer. Pray with power and with fire. Thank you, Jesus. Say, strong God of my battle. Strong God of my battle. Scatter and die. In the name of Jesus. Strong God of my battle. Scatter. Die. Scatter. Die. Scatter. Die. Scatter. Die. Scatter. Die. In the name of Jesus. Strong God of my battle. Scatter. Die. Scatter. Die. Scatter. Die. Scatter. Die. Let this strong God of my battle scatter, da, scatter, da, scatter, da, scatter, da. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody, you are listening to me right now. Let that strong God of your battle, those strong for you. The Bible said, deliver me from strange children. Deliver me from power stronger than me. Listen, you are going to pray that prayer. That person can pray very well. This moment, this period, your deliverance has arrived. Yes, if you can pray it, your deliverance, yes, yes, is available. The arrows that stop miracles come out of my life. In the name of Jesus, arrows that stop miracles come out, 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 come out of my life. In the name of Jesus, I rose that storm miracles. Oh, yeah, come out of my life. Come out. Yes, it's coming out. Come out. Come out. Whatever is stopping you from sharing testimony, whatever is stopping you from having your own personal testimony. Oh, yeah, come out. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Amen. Oh, the hand of God is upon another person now. Yes. Yes. That limitation has been broken down. That thing that been cutting short your testimony has been taken away in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, it is done. It is settled in Jesus' name. Amen. We continue the prayers. We are going to shout again. I want to pray with power with fire. Oh, yes. Say every battle of the blood affecting my life. Thank you, Jesus. The power of your father's house. Yes, the power of your mother's house. The one that knows you deep so much. You are going to pray. Somebody is listening to me. If you can pray that prayer, Lord, I believe now, as the Lord live it, you're going to be set free. Say every battle of the blood, afflicting my life, die. In the name of Jesus, every battle of the blood, afflicting my life, die, 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 die. That name of just every battle of the blood afflicting my life. In the name of just every battle of the blood afflicting my life. Da 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 da. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus name. Amen. We have to pray that prayer. Somebody called me. I tried to set to a family, brother and sister. Amen. And the sister said, I am the firstborn. You, because you have made some money, you think you can harass me. You think you can control your family. That money you have will go down suddenly. Ah, and I said, I told the sister, I said, no, don't say that. Please. He said, Pastor, eh, it's because he has money. But that money will go down. I said, don't let the money go down. Oh, you are going to pray. I want you to pray that prayer. <laughs> he said, oh God, arise. Quench the fire. Of the wicked in my life said oh god arise quench the fire of the wicked in my life in the name of jesus oh god arise quench the fire of the wicked 
in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Quench the fire. Quench the fire. Quench the fire. The fire of the wicked. We are quenching in my life. Quench the fire of the wicked in my life. Quench the fire of the wicked in my life. Quench the fire of the wicked in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Quench the fire of the wicked in my life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We have three solid prayers that I want you us to pray. Before I now pray for you, you are going to declare, <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, every battle that rise early with me, oh, I want to go to bed with me. Every battle that rose with me, yes, early in the morning, I want to go to bed with me. I want you to pray. Somebody's listening to me. Every morning you wake up, you wake up on the other side. You're not happy. When you are going to bed in the night, you are not happy. And I want you to pray tonight, this morning, this afternoon. If you can pray very well, you are going to pray. Every battle that rise with me in the morning, that rose early with me, I want to go to bed with me. Die now. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, pray, pray. Let it die. Die. Yes, oh yes, it da 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 aha yes aha oh yes yes that power that has taken over your bed that power that has taken over your bed yes let them be arrested 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 in the name of Jesus oh yes let it be arrested now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, thank you for that, sister. Thank you for that, brother. Something great has happened. Oh, you have testimony to share. Please, please share your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are still praying. We are going to pray. Hmm. The power that holds my life since I was born. The power that holds my life since I was born. I come out of you now. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. The power that holds my life since I was born, I come out of you. I come out of you. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. Pray with power. Pray with understanding. Say, the power that holds my life since I was born, I come out of you. I come out of you. In the name of Jesus, the power that holds my life since I was born, I come out of you now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. You are going to pray. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, this one, I want you to pray very well. He said, whatever the elders of darkness have taken from me, whatever the elders of darkness have taken from me, whatever the elders of darkness have taken from me, ancient of this, take it back from me. In the name of Jesus, whatever the elders of darkness have taken from me, ancient of days, oh yeah, take it back. Take it back for me. In the name of Jesus, oh yes, take it back for me. In the name of Jesus, whatever the elders of darkness have taken from me, ancient of days, take it back. 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 Take it back for me. In the name of Jesus, whatever the elders of darkness are taken from me, ancient of days, take it back, take it back, take it back. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray this too before I pray for you. I want to pray this prayer. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Evil arrow that is killing me gradually. Evil arrow that is killing me gradually. Oh, come out suddenly. In the name of Jesus. Say evil arrow that is killing me gradually. Come out suddenly. In the name of Jesus. Evil arrow that is killing me gradually. Come out suddenly. Come out suddenly. Come out suddenly. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. In the name of Jesus. Evil arrow that is killing me gradually. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Evil arrow that is killing me gradually. Come out suddenly. Come out suddenly. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let you are going to pray. Let my star manifest with glory. In the name of Jesus. Let my star 
manifest with glory. My star manifest with glory. Manifest, 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 manifest. My star manifest with glory in the name of Jesus. My star, let you, my star manifest with glory. Let my star manifest with glory. My star manifest with glory. Manifest, 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 manifest. Oh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you find yourself, stretch out your two hands. As I declare, King of Glory, Zika Pakata. Zapa Kataga. Ria Zikapa. Lord, I pray. It's King of Glory, King of Kings. I declare, I declare, and I decree concern everyone. I provoke heaven. I tell the spirit of the living God. And I say by the authority. That is in the blood of Jesus. By the reason of the anointing, every yoke is broken. Every king, every evil king that have stolen from you, every evil king that have denied you of your testimony, every evil king that say you not get married, every evil king that say you not have your own children, every evil king that say you not have peace in life, every evil king that say things will not work well for you, every evil king that want to be pursued up and down. Every evil king that I refuse to let you go right now, right now, for it is written, the wickedness of the wicked shall fall upon the wicked. It is written, evil shall slay the wicked. It is written, there shall not be a stone for a foundation for them, neither will there be a stone for a corner for them. He said they shall become desolate. I decree that evil king, that evil king, that evil king, if your amen can be so powerful, that evil king will seven for them. Oh yeah, die, die, die. In the name of Jesus, amen, 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 amen. I decree again, by the authority in the name of Jesus, every garment that does not belong to you, every borrowed garment that you are wearing that is limiting your destiny, that's making you to struggle, struggle without meeting ends, that's making you to suffer, that doing nothing, that garment today, I speak by the unction of God. Oh, let the garment catch fire, 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 catch fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, the kaposi kata, rakazaka, pia kara Lord, I speak again. This is the third time you said a three foot cord cannot be easily broken. I decree by the authority the grace that you have vested in the ministry. The grace upon our Father in the Lord. The grace that is available to the glory of his name. The covenant power of God with Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. The power that brought forth Lazarus from the grave. The power that opened the eyes of the blind. That same power. That same power that prosper. I speak today as the Lord liveth. Oh, where you have been shitted, where you have been denied of your benefit, where the judgment of wicked is being pronounced over your destiny, where evil has been speaking around you, over you. Lord, and they said you cannot settle down in life. You cannot have your children. You cannot have your wife. You cannot do well in, in life. Today, because they are not your God, I speak today. Let their judgment be cancelled. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Yes. Aha. Something is happening. Yes. The power of God is upon somebody. The anointing is resting upon somebody. That yoke is being broken. It's been 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 broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have done it again. This awesome. This good. This good. Oh, please share your testimony. This awesome. This good. This good. This good. This good. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise because you are faithful. I exalt your name because you have done it again. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Jehovah God. Jesus, mighty name, it is done. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you really good. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, give me power. Thank you for joining us tonight. Join us again next week for another powerful episode of Fly Like an Eagle. If you have been blessed by this program, kindly send your testimonies to House of Prayers. 
www.mfmbaltimore at yahoo.com. You can also worship with us at Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, House of Prayers and Praise, 57308 Wabash Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21215. God bless you.